Nation. I'm your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Oh man, there's been a whole lot of mm, juicy drama that just released today. Just dropped a new patch on NBA 2K20. 2K is reaching in people's pockets to take hard-earned VC, and there's been a whole lot of drama between different YouTubers because of it. We have to get started! But before we do, I wanna let you guys know, I do have a new channel on YouTube. Link at the top of the description. I started a podcast with my best friend and the guy I'm living in a house with, Legend of Winning. Make sure to go watch it! Oh, not me, sorry. Agent Zero did that shit. But Agent Beamstar, I'm a stern supporter of him, okay? So I'm gonna leave the link at the top of the description. It's some good content. Go subscribe. First video is dropping in a few days. For our first story of the day. Ooh, how do you even get started today, man? Very excited for this 2K drama. Flight Reacts was unhappy with the state of 2K. He said this on Twitter. Can't believe these old ass people at 2K community, they lied straight to my face, LMAO. Damn, imagine if 2K could actually have some hairstyles like this. Seems like too much work for Ronald and the lazy bum ass devs. Shake my head, black face palm emoji. Duke Dennis responded to Flight React saying, they have had the same hairstyles for like five years. Crying laughing emoji. So that's all that happened. I just figured we'd start off light because every other story today is the opposite of light. For our next story of the day, people were unhappy with Ronnie 2K because he put out a tweet promising to give a whole bunch of people in the community a logo, a verified logo in NBA 2K20, which is great. There's plenty of people that deserve it, but the way he was doing it, ah, I'd say is a little suspect. EJ put out a tweet saying, I was playing 2K last night trying to get my logo. Ronnie had people tap dancing, but little did I know, Chaz got a logo, but her hair is... Huh? Okay, I don't know what's happening, but we're gonna watch the video. Okay, this might be copyrighted. We might not be able to do the story, really. Okay, so we're not gonna post that. Yo, I never made a video like this, and you know, I just wanna speak on this. I heard Ronnie was, Ronnie was jumping in people's streams. I'm thinking he's jumping in their streams to see if these people deserve it. He got these, he got some streamers, you know, reading Green Eggs and Ham, a nursery rhyme book for a logo. He got other people, he got other streamers singing the Frozen, singing a Frozen song, singing the Frozen song for a logo, bruh. I disagree with that because as a content creator, we make the game. But yet, Quavo and these other celebrities, they don't have to do that. And the reason why he don't ask them to do that because he know they can live without playing 2K. They can live without it. They don't even grind the game, but we grind the game. Just for, that's like telling the dog, sit, roll over. If you want your, if you want your treat, if you want your treat, that's not good, bro. That's not a good, that's not a good look. Yeah, Ronnie was like hopping in Twitch streams, asking people to sing songs for a logo. What's going on, man? The whole point of the logo is supposed to be like some sort of accomplishment. Like if you're in that group of people who have it, then you earned something because you established your place in this community as a content creator, as a rapper, or as any person that can get a logo. But when you're just hopping in streams, demanding people do arbitrary things for your enjoyment just so you can give them a logo, I don't think that's that's the whole purpose of it. You're f***ing it up, Ronnie, for everybody right now, man. Nadex was unhappy with one of the people who ended up getting said logo. He said this on Twitter. Of course, that crackhead bald bitch sucked Ronnie for a logo. She know I'll run Twitch. I don't actually know who he's referring to here. G-Man was a little bit confused because he responded saying, bruh, I thought this was about me, LMAO. To which Nadex responded with the Eddie Murphy. <laughs> so, people were singing to get a logo from Ronald on a Friday night. Couldn't be me. Crying to the floor emoji. Ah, all right, ladies and gentlemen, for our next story of the day. Ah, 2K. I don't know how you guys managed to f things up even harder every single time, but it was a monumental day in the 2K community a couple days ago because as people quickly discovered, if you were participating in the red ball, blue ball, dodgeball event, you were winning absurd amounts of VC to the point where it almost felt like a mistake. So everybody hopped on. They were grinding red ball, blue ball on the Asia servers and the Europe servers to get as many VCs as possible. And there were people who racked up over a million just from playing red ball, blue ball for one day. Twitter started to erupt. Everybody was playing and trying to get their VC up. 
Troy Dad put out a tweet saying, Red Ball, Blue Ball is such a lit event. Go to Dave put out a tweet saying, people are charging to get into the Asia servers. Are y'all serious? And so while everybody was enjoying the fruits of their labor grinding Red Ball, Blue Ball, Chalk, the first top rep on NBA 2K20, put out this tweet on Twitter. Yo, NBA 2K, I'm probably the only person not doing the VC glitch. Please bless me for following the rules. Thank you. He followed up with a tweet saying, y'all can't take jokes and it's sad. Any other 2K person says something like this, y'all jerking him off. But I say literally anything and y'all cry, lol. Have a good night, fellas. Life isn't so serious. <laughs> the top response to Chalk was, you thought you were being funny, but how is this any different than asking the teacher if they're collecting homework? It's not funny, bro. Don't be that guy. So it seems as though, once again, on these 2K dramas, Chalk got himself into a predicament that he had no business getting involved in. Swante quote tweeted Chalk saying, LMFAO. Get him out of here, dog. You guys think you're so slick with this VC glitch, but when clothe their 500K VC for a shirt tomorrow, not gonna look so sweet. 2K's gonna hit us with that inflation. <laughs> so as people were grinding red ball, blue ball, there was a meme that was rising in the midst. Apparently the blue team was always winning. And so anytime you got the red team, you were pissed about it. Easy Breezy put out this tweet. When I get the red team, shake my head. And look guys, it's a Flight Reacts video. What the? are you talking about? What the f are you talking about, bro? I sat here and paid for this, sh bro. What the f are you talking about right now, bro? This can't be fucking, this has to be a fucking prank right now, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I know, Agent Beamstar, I'm not a qualified Raider, ladies and gentlemen, but all I'll say is that's a good one right there. That's very good quality meme. He followed up with a tweet saying, 2K is about to have a great depression. Nobody knew how 2K was gonna react because all we know about 2K is anytime their pockets is being hurt, they react quickly. So it was only a matter of time before they stopped the event and did something. And uh, they did do something. Chalk quote tweeted a critic saying, yeah, bro, I snitched. 2K would have had no idea if I didn't tweet it. I think the videos of people streaming it would have gave it away. LD2K responded to Chalk saying, good thing Twitter is around. I'm certain they wouldn't know anything without it. If you guys genuinely believe that adding the 2K page is the reason the red ball, blue ball was patched and not that there were multiple glitch videos posted and every person who plays 2K was taking mass pictures in the gear, I don't know what to tell you. Every single content creator posted about it. I added the page that nobody actually uses to be funny. Every developer follows me. If I really wanted it patched, I could have just DM them. 2K isn't that stupid. They weren't gonna let themselves lose money forever. Now, Chalk, you are digging yourself a deeper hole. You can't say things like, if I really wanted it patched, I could have just DM them. Cause then people are gonna believe that you have the power to do that. I don't know you at all. But what I do know is you have a phenomenal ability to get yourself into shitty situations that you had no business being in. It is very easy. Everybody else in the 2K community cleared steer of the situation you somehow got yourself involved in. And so after the Asia event went down and the Europe event went down, it was only a matter of time before 2K caught on and stopped the event. Of course, it was before US East got a chance to play the event. NBA 2K just abandoned the thing because people were making too much VC. And there was quite an eruption the next day when there was a pretty stark realization. Brother Jones tweeted out on Twitter saying, yo, they took everyone's VC from the red ball, blue ball glitch. LMAO. Swante tweeted saying, why do I have negative VC now? WTF, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, at 2K support. Quizzy puts out a tweet saying, funny how 2K can VC wipe everyone in less than three days, but takes months to fix gameplay bugs sideways crying laughing emoji. But then the real drama started immediately after that because everybody began to blame Chalk for the event being patched. Bandit put out this troll tweet on Twitter saying, blame Chalk. <laughs> Duke Dennis put out a tweet saying, damn, they finna be on his ass for actually snitching like that crying laughing emoji. I didn't even know what happened until today. And the things, the memes was, mm, ah, I'm gonna make a meme video of my, probably my, like in a couple videos, all right? Cause the memes were so damn glorious over the last couple days and they were going really, really hard at Chalk. Now I say this, obviously Chalk doesn't have the power to do that. And the fact that he positioned himself to get people to believe that he does is the reason why people are angry with him to begin with. Cause nobody truly thinks that a DM from Chalk 
is going to change the game. Not at all. But it's the internet. And anytime there's a chance to make fun of somebody for something, they'll, they're going to take advantage of it every single time. Chalk was furious. I don't know if furious was the right word, but he was definitely frustrated about the situation. He put out this tweet on Twitter saying this. It's crazy because you have people who drop the hard R. Dudes who beat their wife. People who should genuinely be put out of the community, but the community would rather put their energy into trying to end me over a joke about an event already getting patched. Welcome to 2K. I know it's like the cool thing on Twitter to ride trending topics and make jokes for likes, but I hope some of you guys have enough common sense to recognize that I didn't have anything to do with it, lol, period. And then he kind of was feeling, he was feeling the memes that everybody was posting because he decided to post his own hashtag, F chalk with an exclamation mark to emphasize his point. I thought it was gonna die down, but now they're taking people's VC away, and of course it's gonna be blamed on me, which is unfortunate. Sorry to those who feel like I actually had a part in this. Oh man, uh, very unfortunate, Chalk. I don't know how you got yourself in that jam, but you managed to do it. Still though, everything continued because people weren't just mad at Chalk for quote unquote snitching. They were also mad because 2K was taking the VC from people's accounts. Cole put out this tweet on Twitter saying, VC glitch gets patched within 24 hours, but they can't add a new park? Sad emoji. I don't know what this emoji is emoji. 2K can patch VC glitch in 24 hours, but can't change the park theme. These devs are straight up, whoa. <laughs> Flight. <laughs> CEO Mikey on Twitter said, when Bank of America had that ATM glitch in Houston where the money was coming out, they let the customers keep the money. Y'all telling me a billion dollar company 2K can't let y'all keep our virtual currency? On oh, God, y'all can SMD. Ticino was trying to calm the waves. Everybody was freaking out because some people were reporting that they were taking VC that they rightfully earned outside of the red ball, blue ball event. Ticino says, just a heads up, 2K didn't take any legitimately earned VC or bought VC. If you played red ball, blue ball, then spent VC from it, they took that amount spent from your original VC. Oh wow, that's crazy. I can confirm this because I still have my original 380K. I didn't play red ball, blue ball since I didn't need VC. First of all, I didn't know 2K had the power to just take VC from you. That's phenomenal. So then for some reason, Ronnie2K decided to hop on a stream conveniently while everybody's VC was being taken. And um, this is what he had to say about it. This update, sorry about the VC stuff, that sucks. Um, but again, it's just, I'm sure it's just display issue um, and we'll get it resolved soon. Um, and uh, what do you call it? Chalk had nothing to do with anything that was going on, so I wouldn't get on him. This update. <laughs> Ronnie, the thing is, is everybody knows Chalk had nothing to do with it, right? I don't think there's anyone that genuinely believes he did. But come on, it's for the memes. Um, that being said, just by the way Ronnie was speaking in his tone in that video there, I have a feeling he's not even really sure what's going on. You know, because sometimes there is a disconnect between the developers and the publisher. Ronnie is on the publisher side. The developers are the guys who actually make the game. For our... Oh man, you might have thought the drama was so juicy, it's probably over now. Nope. Because 2K decided to release a new update. In Ronnie's stream yesterday, he mentioned that at the end of January, we were most likely gonna be seeing an update. And apparently this 22nd is the end of January because patch 10 just dropped. NBA 2K's official Twitter account put out this post saying, red alert. Patch 10 is live, see the full notes. And you might be wondering, oh man, did they drop the patch notes on time? Mm-mm, they dropped them hours after the patch already released on PS4 and Xbox. But if you were wondering what the patch notes look like, they're very brief. There are players that received hair updates. The duo overlay will now properly show badge upgrades in my team. Address reports concerns about users could walk onto the court in specific neighborhood games, which happens on the anti up $2,500 court. That's good. But the biggest thing for me, even though they missed a whole lot of things they should have addressed, but in latency has been reduced when playing pro -Am. I'm actually recording a Prime video tonight. So I'm uploading way more Pro-Am, and we were just talking about latency on the last Pro-Am video, which I'm gonna leave a card up above, right there. Now, do I believe they reduced it? Not sure yet, I have to play and find out. But they're saying they worked on it, and that means a lot to me, because for a long time, it was an area that was left unaddressed, and you guys know how I feel about latency, okay? So they did not address everything that was changed in this patch right here in these notes. They never really do. And so people went on investigating, and there was a very, 
very glaring thing they forgot to bring up here in this patch note. Joe Knows tweeted saying, behind the back is gone. So many people are about to be ass with a whole gang of crying, laughing emojis. If 2K took out the behind the back, no lie, I'm gonna be happy as possible. So many people did that move like four times in a row just to score a crying, laughing emoji. Let's see who's really good now. And then Power decided to drop a dribbling after the patch video. I'm so happy he did this. More people need to start dropping videos so we get an idea of what it looks like, man. Here we go, boom. So the behind the back that used to used to throw it and it used to give you bare momentum. You're not getting that momentum no more. The behind the back has been nerfed dramatically. Can it still be effective? Possibly, but it's definitely not as OP as it once was. Cash Nasty put out a tweet saying, all you ISO gods, stop crying. Y'all just wanna spam all day with no repercussions, dot, dot, dot. Steezo got in, he said, the behind the back became an insult to anybody with real stick skill. Real dribblers never needed it to score. Good riddance, ha, 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 ha. Power decided to tweet out another video. More videos of the new behind the back are emerging. What is this? Look at this bro. Like, that's the behind the back. What the f can I do with that, bro? Like, what is that? As you can see, it's received a pretty big nerf. Annoying TV tweeted, 2K always messes up when they try and make the game too realistic. When will they understand cheesing arcade like is what makes the game fun? They was there. Oh my God, wow, the grammar is horrible. I thought I was losing my ability to read for a moment. They was their issue in 2K18 and everybody kept getting heavily contested greens because it happens in the NBA. And I happen to agree with Annoying. I think the game being arcade is what's fun about it. I don't wanna play real life. I can go outside to do that, ladies and gentlemen. Which is why the biggest shooters on earth aren't the ones that's warlike, cause that's slow and boring and not entertaining, right? Have you played those like hardcore, slow paced tactical shooters? They don't have nearly as big an audience as the arcade shooters. CSGO, Call of Duty, it's not real life, but it's fun. So I'm saying 2K should be like that too. I think this is where they messed up. 2K decided to take the one effective dribble move and then stop it from being effective. Which, what they really should have been doing is making more effective dribble moves. So there's more than one behind the back you can do to be successful. Now, I do agree that if you are a Steezo level dribbler, this is not gonna affect you because you weren't using that behind the back anyway. But for anybody else who's not a part of that 0.001%, they would have been better off creating more effective dribble moves than knocking down the one effective dribble move, in my opinion. But that would make the game more arcade-like, like 2K15, 2K16, 2K17. That's what made the games fun. I never looked at an animation and thought, oh, that was so realistic, I enjoyed the game more because of that now. Actually, maybe sometimes on like a contact dunk, actually. So Chalk then decided to tweet out, kind of making fun of his own situation. Anything you guys would like me to ask to be fixed since you guys think I have so much power? Chuck, you told us you have that power. It wasn't a thought, we just thought of ourselves. So, um, no, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's been it for the news. Of course, the patch just dropped a few hours ago. I'm sure more things are gonna emerge. So I'll keep you guys in the loop. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, man. Watch my last Pro-Am video if you missed it, but make sure to subscribe to the new channel I have. Link at the top of the description. Podcast of my guy, Legend of Winning. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.